terms of the festival and Reading as a town centre, I'm not quite a city yet. I'll keep trying. <laughs> <laughs> but um, how would you um, how would you say that the festival has an impact in Reading? Because when people talk about Reading from outside of Reading, they definitely feel it's Reading used to be famous for three Bs. It was the biscuits, bobs, and beer. Um, I think it could be the three Ms now. I think it's music. Microsoft and Medeski. <laughs> I don't know. Um, maybe it's Melvin. That's the three yeah, M's there. Um, so, what would? Um, what, is there any more that you you think you can do to help be part of the local community um, as part of Reading Festival? Again, I don't. I I, I think um, you, you, you know Reading's in a very sort of um, Reading's in a difficult space, in a different, difficult location in lots of ways, really. It's so close to London that, um, in fact, London ignores it. Um, and when I say London, government ignores it, uh, you, you, you know, and, um, you know, it's got great um, employers, you, you, you know, technology employers in particular, and again, um, government ignores it because of that. And, you, you, you know, whereas you know, in Leeds, in Manchester, um, it's the north of England, it's a long way from London, P you know, the government feel responsible to support the north of England or, you know, the far west of England or, you know, more, you know, more remote places in England you know, in, in, in some senses. Reading is so close as to, um, it, it gets very little government support. So the town itself, um, you know, it, 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 um, you know, struggles for income. There's no question about it, really. And uh, the councillors, I think, are doing a, a terrific job in trying to regenerate Reading without a great deal of government support. Um, and of course, John Medeski has done a phenomenal amount in terms of that redevelopment himself, really. Um, but it has to come from the people of the town, in a way, who elect their councillors, and their councillors are representative. And 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 so, you know, Reading has got this sort of extraordinary extraordinary wealth and extraordinary poverty um, and the town doesn't come together properly in, because of that in a way. Um, a town like Leeds hasn't got such extremes, it, 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 you know, it, it's got a lot more people in the middle um, and, and the town's able to come together and be representative, um, you, you, you know, more, um, you, you, you know, the people are in, in lots of ways. So, so Reading's got a tough job in that sense really and how does it support young people? It, it probably doesn't. It probably hasn't got that ability in lots of ways. Um, it certainly doesn't have any. Um, it certainly doesn't have any public money uh, of any note to support young people. In in, in my experience, um, and therefore it has to come from the people themselves, really. And um, I guess what you're doing, Reading Rock Academy, is very much part of that. Um, and you know, from you know, from small acorns, you know, grow big trees. Really, and 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 that you know, that very much is, um, you, you know, is what has to happen. That's how it. That's how life starts. That's how it starts. Yeah, that's really interesting hearing that because, um, just on a personal level, because I've always lived in Reading, I, I wonder what was fueling me doing Reading Rock Academy, and um, and it was working definitely beyond self, and it was thinking you know, that this academy thing, a structure that can outlive me certainly. Um, but something that was there for the other 51 weeks of the year, really, that young people would get inspired by the festival. I mm. did as a kid. You know, I used yeah. to lean out my bedroom window listening. <laughs> when I was too young to go, and then eventually I'll, I think I've seen a few bands. I remember seeing some of them. I haven't been recently, but <laughs> I remember I'm sort of late 80s, early 90s era. Um, you're more the era today. Um, and it does inspire people, certainly the local people, and I think that's why I wanted to, to have something there that was there for the rest of the year, safe place where they can go practice their art, write some songs, and then hopefully that's a passageway to, um, to uh, make the Play Reading Festival.